Georgia's David Niniashvili look. We always had it in our history, in our DNA, to fight. Levin Maisashvili, head coach of Georgia's rugby union team, says as he reflects on the proud, defiant nature of his small country, Maisashvili knows all about battling against the odds. In 2021, he was given a 1% chance of survival after contracting COVID-19 in South Africa, subsequently spending a month in a coma and losing 25 kilograms. He has since made a full recovery and, the year after his brush with death, masterminded Georgia's victories against Italy, the country's first win against a tire one nation, so called for competing in one of the rugby's top level international competitions, and Wales. Today, Maisashvili eyes in France leading Georgia at the 2023 Rugby World Cup. It wasn't long ago that the country was struggling to find nations to play against and equipment to train with, but now it is defeating some of the best teams in the game and has its eyes set on future growth. When asked what characterizes Georgian rugby, Maisashvili tells CNN Sport, That's obvious, it's the sacrifice. Without the emotion, there is nothing. Every Georgia player fully understands they have to sacrifice themselves. Rugby has traditionally been dominated by a handful of countries, and indeed, only four different nations have won the World Cup since its inception in 1987. Levin Maisashvili, head coach of Georgia, gives instructions during the Georgian rugby captain run at BT Murray Field Stadium on August 25, 2023 in Edinburgh, Scotland. Levin Maisashvili, right, leads Georgia's training ahead of a game against Scotland in August. Levin Berzuli slash Getty Image with a population of just 3.7 million. The nation of Georgia might be small, but its rugby players, like 6'1", 269-pound prop Miklabuladze, who can reportedly squat over 570 pounds and bench press almost 400 are anything but. This tiny nation of big men is looking to tear down rugby's status quo, and the players are wholly committed to this cause. The focus of this fight is now aimed squarely at proving to the world that after decades of being dismissed as an easy pushover for the giants of the sport, Georgia is a force to be reckoned with. Having lost 35-15 against Australia in its Rugby World Cup opener, Georgia hopes to bounce back against Portugal this Saturday, then against Fiji and Wales in its final Pool C game.